Then, as one of his ministers for roads and public works, and finally, as a, pre a prime minister, where we shared the Grand Coalition government. Nobody who was better than Mwe Kibaki when it came to creating team spirit and inspiring his ministers. A lot is going to be said about Mwe Kibaki later on as we eulogize him. But on behalf of the Azio the Omoja One Kenya Alliance and coalition, on behalf of the respective political parties, and on behalf of my family, we condole with the family of Mwai Kibaki and the rest of Kenyans, and we say that may the Lord rest his soul in eternal peace. Having said that, we have had a meeting here, that is the, the council of uh, the Azimio La Omoja One Kenya Coalition, and today we are talking about our Nairobi team. Uh, there have been consultations that have been going on for the last few days, but I'm happy to report that today we have concluded and we are ready now to unveil Team Nairobi uh, for, all, all for Azimio La Omoja One Kenya Coalition. The governor candidate is going to be Mr. Polycarp Igade. He will be deputized by Professor Kaloki. We will have a senator candidate, Mr. Edwin Sifuna. Then uh, the women uh, representative is going to be one Esther, Madam Esther Pasaris. As you know that there are other members of our coalition who had expressed the desire to become governors. One of them is Honorable Timothy Wanyonyi. And Timothy Wanyonyi has decided, has made a decision to step down from the governorship uh, contest and to go back and recontest his, uh, his uh, seat as a member of the uh, National Assembly for uh, Westland constituency. The other candidate was Mr. Richard Gatia. Richard Gatia has also graciously agreed to step down uh, in favor of Honorable Mr. Polika Pigade and Mr. Richard Gatia is going to be appointed as the President Special Envoy on Trade with immediate effect. I will thank Mr. Angatia for the generosity he has shown and a sense of patriotism in stepping down and agreeing to support this team that you have unveiled today. We also are going to have candidates in all the 17 constituencies in the, the city of Nairobi. Uh, they have been nominated by the respective political parties and we are going to campaign as a team in all the constituencies. The, then we also agreed that the Speaker of the Nairobi County Assembly, once it is constituted, will come from ODM party. With that, ODM Nairobi is now ready for the task 
we have handed over the baton to this team here in Nairobi. This is Azimio La Umoja uh, One Kenya Coalition Team Nairobi. And we are sure that they will bring deep victory to our party. With these, those three remarks, you say Azimio. 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 I would now like to ask my colleague, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, to pay his tribute to our departed uh, president. Thank you, sir. I thank our team leader, Brother Raila Amolo Dinga, for his show of leadership, even this morning. But it is when we were having those discussions that His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta broke the news to the nation about the passing on of Mze Kibaki. Mze Kibaki is an iconic father figure in this nation. I had the singular privilege of serving a full five years as his vice president. And I can tell you, there are very few leaders, even within the African continent, with a spirit of selflessness and singular sense of purpose and service to his people more than Mwe Kibaki. So as we mourn him, of course you have to remember moments when he would uh, get this nation laughing. That was indeed Mwe Kibaki. He would use language that younger Kenyans would not be allowed to use. <laughs> and we'd all go laughing. I can tell you that when my brother Raila at Uhuru Park in 2002 put a question to the mammoth congregation at Uhuru Park, which eventually the crowd and Kenyans became engulfed in the spirit of the merger between Rainbow, LDP, NAK of President Kibaki, and he asked the question, Siana Tosha. And that has also become a very historic statement that we all knew Kibaki Ali Tosha. That is a gentleman and the leader we are mourning today. So all of us joined President Uhuru Kenyatta in the first place as the fourth president. Now he has lost the founding president, the second president Mzemoy, and now the third president. You can then feel the weight because normally you would obviously refer, refer to Mze Kibaki for weighty consultation. Because that's the nature of African leadership. And President Kibaki was never referred to as former President Kibaki. He was President Kibaki. My brother here is the Right Honorable Prime Minister Raila Odinga. And our presumptive president, the fifth president. So I want to wish <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta... God's speed and strength on behalf of all of us as we mourn our leader, President Kibaki. My brother will leave shortly for the United States of America. We are given to agonize on whether he should make this trip or not and we felt the rest of us who are alive must continue with the task, immediate task that is ahead of us. So we send our brother Raila Odinga on his mission to the United States of America with our full blessings even as I'm sure he'll be, won, he'll be mourning the Kibaki as he travels. Him and his delegation we wish you Godspeed. Kenyans poleni sana kumpoteza mze Kibaki wakati kama huu ni kama kusema kweli zote tuajisikia kwamba tuko yatima. Tungekua hata tukielekea uchaguzi ujao Mzee Kibaki angekuwa angalao angekuwa nasi wakati mwingine tungemshauri tungeuliza ushauri wake vile tulisema wakati ule an Bwagebo nation that time tulikosema kwamba eh, Kibaki anatosha 
vivyo hivyo tunasema ndugu yetu Raila anatosha wakati tukimwaga mzee Kibaki kwa sababu yeye alichangia pakubwa na huo msimamo wa kusema Kibaki si anatosha msimamo timamo amkwasha mzee Kibaki also wishes you well as he rests may he rest in everlasting peace amen thank you very much